Guys, guys, what's going on? It's your boy Black Dash 813, also known as Dentarius Lock. Um, it's been a while since I've been on here. Last time I was up here, I posted a video was around the draft time, like right before the draft. <clears throat> um, as you know, uh, Bucks got a new coach, Bruce Arians. I think we talked. Think I talked about that before. Um, we just had our first preseason game last night against the Steelers. Um, I want to get a rundown on that. Uh, also letting you guys know that we'll be back posting videos starting today and the rest of this week. Um, probably be running by maybe two videos a week. Just updating you guys on what the Bucks got going on as far as the roster, as far as how players are looking. And also running on different subjects, just depending on what's going on. Um, one thing I do watch a lot is Undisputed, so I probably will touch on a few of those things from time to time. Um, but let's get to it. Um, so... First game of the season, yesterday, obviously, you know, it's preseason. So we're not going to see too much in the team itself as far as first team. Uh, we're going to see a few things. But what we did see was we seen a few uh, things new with the defense, which is something that I was really, really interested in with Bruce Aarons and Ty Bowles being on the staff now, uh, being the fact that Dirk Cutter is not with us anymore. He's actually in Atlanta as the offensive coordinator. Um but with the first series, I like what I've seen. Um, a few things that really stuck out to me that, that I really liked, just to touch on the offense, was the two or three-headed running backs that we had. Uh, the running back committee um, with Ronald Jones, with Peyton Barber, and Andre Ellerton a little bit. Um, those three, then we obviously had, I got to know, I got to learn how to pronounce his name, Adabule. It's going to take me a while to get it, but. I learned. But anyway, um, I like what we have with that. Um, as I've known, and me being a Florida State alumni, when I was here, uh, 2013, 2014, when I see James had his best, best days, he had a running back committee. You know, he had Devontae Freeman, who's with the Falcons right now. He had Carlos Williams. He had James Wilder. He had a lot of guys, you know, that he could just hand the ball off to and they could get the yards. They were big up front. And then when he needed to pass the ball, he went out there and made the play that he had with the receiver that he had. This offense is going to be very similar to that. And when you have and when you give him a running back committee, he looks like a totally different quarterback. I'm not saying he's going to go out there and look like Tom Brady, but he's going to look more comfortable. He can go out there and make the plays that he wants to make. Um, now he has more time to sit back and go through his reads and make the right, the right pass or the right throw, um, which is more beneficial than him just throwing the ball up in the air because he's forced through in a sense, and now the pick is there. So that's one thing I've seen from the first series that I really liked. I mean, Ronald Jones was, what, four carries for 18 yards. Peyton Barber, I think, was three carries for 18 or 12 yards, somewhere around there. Um, then we've seen Ellington get in. We've seen a couple of passes, a few, you know, dump offs to the uh, running backs that went for big plays as well with those running backs. So I kind of like that. Um, and when that happens, now Jameis is not the one that is forced to be Superman, as Bruce Arians said. And I've been saying this since we drafted Jameis with Lovey Smith. Um, Jameis is a really good quarterback, but he can only do so much. You can't expect him to do everything right. I know you got the number one pick, but even John Elway, even the Andrew Lux, these guys need help around them. Andrew Luck was a, a great, great quarterback, but you can see with no help, he's getting hurt all the time. You know, and that's one of the things that hurt him. So, or hurt his earlier, earlier him in his career. Now that they have more help, now that they built that old line, now they have a decent running game, their defense is playing better. Things are starting to connect. So, um, with, with that being said, James is going to benefit the most by this running back committee that we have. And they kind of seen it yesterday just in the – First series, obviously, only first series. We're going to see more, you know, week two and more even in week three as they prepare for the first game of the season. So, um, but that's what I seen really a lot yesterday um, on the offense that I was impressed with was the fact that with this three-headed running back commit or this running back committee that you have, Jameis is a better player. It's just that simple. Um, the play that he make is a little bit more smoother for him to make. So, um, even when he scrambled, you know, you can tell where usually we're used to seeing him scramble and throw it up sometimes. Now he scrambles and just grabs the six or seven to eight yards, goes to the running back the next play. Um, another play I really did notice is usually when he went through his reads, you can see usually when he goes through his reads and then he just throws the ball up, he goes through his read and then he checks it down to Peyton Barber. That was huge. 
you know, that was a big step for me to see that. So I really enjoyed that part of the first series. And you can start to see how we have one of the best receiving cores. So you're seeing Chris Godwin do him. Mike Evans really didn't do too much. I mean, pretty sure we'll see him more later on. Justice Watson, who's coming to his own, who I watched even last year as we drafted him out of Penn. Big 6'3 guy that got some speed, can run some routes. Um, that was another person that had a decent game as well. So there's a lot of other people that came out, but those are the few people that I see that made an impact in the first first drive. I mean, we'll see more on that offense later on throughout the throughout the preseason. Um, Defense-wise, I was so excited when I seen the defense because ever since I can remember back even when we had Tony Dungy, you know, Lovey Smith, um, Raheem Morris, Greg Schiano, all these guys, we were in the same kind of defense, the same Tampa 2 cover 2 defense. We never really had disguises. Never. You never really see us really bring more than maybe six players on the blitz. Last night, we're seeing linebackers on delayed blitzes. We're seeing them come up to the front. This is just the first few series. You can see Ty Bowles is disguising this defense. That is huge. That is very, very huge. And when you do that, the corners can benefit. Vernon, Vernon, Vernon Hargreaves, straight out of Temple, he got a pick yesterday because of the disguise that they're bringing up, because of the pressure they started to bring. Um, and a person that looked so good last night was Noah Spence. Very impressive. Very impressive. To me, I thought that Shaq Barry, who we signed from the Broncos, I thought he was going to be the starter. Some of you signed him, but Noah Spence looked really good. His get-off looks nice. So, um, but with that being said, those are the few things that Key that pointed out. Um, there's a lot more things we got to work on. Obviously, I think we need more depth at the D-line position. But the front seven looked really nice. Um, Noah Spence is really stepping up. Sue was being who Ndamukong Sue is. Um, I like the addition with that. Um, I think the corners that we have, Jamal Dean, uh, Bunting, he didn't really show too much yesterday. I think Jordan Whitehead had a, little, a few mistakes yesterday. But it's the first game. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, it's the first game of preseason. So they're just getting their feet wet. So – um, I like what I seen yesterday. Um, we looked re really, really, really good the first series. Um, a lot of people been saying a lot of stuff about Vernon. Um, he looks really good yesterday. Um, had one play, I think, with James Washington beat him. But me personally, I think that the safety Jordan Whitehead came down. When obviously, he's supposed to drop back. He's supposed to help have that deep third over the top. That play doesn't happen. So, uh, but hey, it was a really good game. Um, also, big key. Uh, thing I noticed was Matt Gay. He hit that 55 yarder, which I seen was actually the longest I think field goal in Pittsburgh at at Heinz Field. Um, even though it doesn't count as preseason, but 55 yard is impressive. You guys know how big of a impact our kicking and special teams has been. Um, so it was a few people that that I noticed, but I really liked the scheme that we're going with. Um, Bruce Aarons is is a great guy and a great coach and how he's done things in the past and the quarterbacks that he worked with. Um, like I said, even though it was for one series, you can see where James is not really forcing a few throws. He's taking the check down. You know, I don't – the number one option is not open. The second reason not open, let me hurry up and toss it to the running back and gain three or four yards rather than throw it out and then risk it being picked off. So um, – but offense looked pretty solid. Defense looked like it's coming, coming together. Uh, I think – like I said, more depth at the front seven position that we are we're pretty solid. The back end is so young. So, so young. So I think that's gonna come along the more we play. Um we need to keep rotating bunting. We need Justin Evans hurt right now. Um Kentra Boston Kentra Bryce we got hurt yesterday. Hopefully he comes back. We need him to get get back into um get in the rotation. Um Sean Bunting needs to go ahead and step up and make some plays. Uh, MJ Stewart, needs to get, all these guys need to get their rep in and get in and start doing some work. Because, honestly, I think this is going to be one of the better defenses that we ever had because we're bringing different disguises and blitzes. So we're going to see a lot of different things. Um, but it's going to be a good good season coming up. Um, we just got to stay healthy and do what we do um, and just get ready for next week. So, uh, yeah, guys. So, like I said, at the end, I'll be back more on YouTube, um, posting more videos. Likes, comments, um, let me know. Also, describe. And um, if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. Um, I'm, I gladly answer any questions. Definitely doing more research on what we got going on in Tampa and other teams. Um, but this is a big season coming up, and I expect a lot from us.